We start with a struggle over sidewalk space in Sacramento County. A visually impaired woman says she's having a hard time navigating her own neighborhood now. She has a guide dog you see there. She says though that homeless camps on sidewalks are now a dangerous obstacle. There are tents pitched on sidewalks. There are grocery carts filled with trash. There were other things that impede my ability to walk down the sidewalk. So Susan Hood reached out to us when she didn't get any response from the sheriff's homeless outreach team over encampments blocking the sidewalks. She says it's dangerous for her and other people with disabilities. The sheriff's department tells us that it tries to prioritize removing encampments, but says it doesn't have a lot of staff. Yeah, KCR 3's Michelle Bandour shows us the frustrations of legally blind residents who say this sidewalk situation is a violation of their rights. I'm listening to traffic after suddenly losing her sight five years ago. Infection erupted in my eyes. Good girl. Susan Hood has learned how to navigate life being legally blind and with her guide dog, Geode. I have become increasingly frustrated with obstacles on sidewalks in northern Sacramento County, which are violations of the Americans with Disability Act. Now she's trying to figure out how to navigate around her new neighbors. It can be very scary when you don't know precisely how to get yourself out of a tricky situation when you're when the sidewalk's blocked. I can tell that there's something blocking out of my eye. I can Hood see says it's a struggle on the sidewalks of Marconi Avenue near Fulton Avenue. Left. Geode lets her know Geode something's forward. in the way forward. and they can't continue forward. forward or walk on the busy street to get around the camps. Some of them will be nice and try and move things out of your way, but for the most part, they just ignore you yeah, or ask you for if you got any money. Jim Thompson and his guy, Dog Flow Flow, have trouble running errands too. It's not that we don't care about homeless people, because we do, but they also make it almost impossible for us to get around. And, and, and at least safely. Many times they have to double back and walk out of their way to avoid forward. the camps. If forward? you carry a bag of groceries or whatever you got with you, it's you know, just at my age, I don't, I don't have a lot of steam in the engine. Both Thompson and Hood want to see an ordinance in the county, just like the city of Sacramento passed last month, making it illegal to camp on sidewalks. A resolution is only as good as enforcing it. So yes, I, I would hope that there would be a resolution made, but it would have to be enforced. Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Two ordinances dealing with homelessness in Sacramento County took effect today. It is now prohibited to camp near critical infrastructure and along the American River and Dry Creek Parkways. The county says there will not automatically be widespread sweeps. And there's also an ordinance in the city of Sacramento dealing with tents and other items blocking the sidewalks. It was adopted by the city council at the end of August. It had to take effect within 30 days, which means yesterday was the deadline. It requires four feet of space for people to be able to get by on a sidewalk. Today, a group gathered at 30th and E Streets to bring attention to the new ordinance. They say homeless encampments are still blocking access. We've been worried about some of the situations that have been going on here on the sidewalks. Children have a hard time walking to school. There's a lot of elderly, handicapped, other uh, different populations that are really uh, struggling to walk around our streets because they're being blocked. Actions speak louder than words. Everybody on city council approved that ordinance and we want to make sure that they're actually going to follow through and make it happen. They have every right to be upset about uh, not having access to a sidewalk, but we should be upset that there are people living on the sidewalk just as much. And that I think is where they find their problem in not understanding what's happening. Uh, it's a very personalized experience for them rather than looking at what's happening in their community. Now, we have covered concerns about the sidewalks in this area before. Last October, Caltrans cleared out a stretch of encampments that were blocking sidewalks and creating a safety hazard for kids who were walking to nearby Sutter Middle School. But that encampment just moved about a block. 